Can I have a hug? So I guess it's time for a new YouTube video. This is my third YouTube video already, so thank you so much for all the subscribers and all the comments. I read all the comments, uh, all of them. Thank you so much for all the compliments and it just encourages me to keep making videos. So that's really kind. So for today, I want to give my top five tips to for sissies who want to be just like me, or or uh, if you if you want to look more feminine, maybe sissy isn't the right word. You know, it doesn't matter if you just like to explore your gender in any other way, or you want to use another label. The labels don't matter anyway. Just just be yourself. So, I'm going to take you inside my room. Um, it might be a little bit messy, but that's because... Um, because... Yeah, it's just a bit messy, but it's not my own fault, I, I promise. So, this is my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. I think it's not it's not as bad as you think it is. Um, the reason the reason it's so messy is because you know somebody went in here and made a big mess. And it was me. I have an idea. Um, let me just change real quick in a in a proper outfit. And then we're going to solve the solution before we start the video. Wait, we, we already started the video, but before we start, what I want to say in the video. What do sissies do when they see a, a messy room like this? We put on our maid costume and start cleaning. Of course. Duh. So let's get to work. Three. Two, one. Okay, now it's time to clean. Here we go. This is a mattress I'm wearing. Sissy tips 
but this is also for people who are exploring their gender in any way maybe you are trans maybe not or maybe you just do it as a hobby i think these are my five best tips for for sissies and anything in between or anyone that's exploring their gender maybe that's a better way to see it um so my first tip will be it's not about genetics anybody can become a pretty sissy or a pretty girl it doesn't matter how you look right now it doesn't matter how you look right now if you if you if your dream is to become a real girl or to become a sissy or anything it's all possible it doesn't matter how you look right right now as a guy or anything it, it just it's not about genetics please believe me i used to be um, very masculine too before my mistress feminized me um so yeah please trust me on that it's about hard work it is a lot of work to to achieve a feminine feminine appearance especially if for some people it's more work for some others but, but um, it is a lot of work but it's possible there is a solution for everything you can lose weight you can get laser hair removal you can get hormones so yeah that's that, that's my my first tip my second tip kind of fits in with the first one my second tip will be you are not too old, you are not too fat, you are not too thin, you are not too ugly, you are not anything. You, there, there is, you, you, anyone can do this. It's never too late. You can still transition when you're old. You can still transition when you're overweight. You can still transition when you're tall or small or anything in between. So don't be discouraged by how you look right now. Think about how you feel in here and how we, who you want to be and just go, go for it. And the journey might be difficult and you might have to do a lot of work for it, but it's so worth it. I'm super happy that I started and anyone who feels the same inside should do, should do it as well. So my third tip. My third tip will be, um, if, you, if you think about transitioning or you want to start hormones, go and, and take steps towards it already. Even if you are not sure yet, there are a lot of steps in between deciding and getting the hormones. You still have to go to a psychologist or a sexologist, I think it's called. Um, you need to go to a doctor, you need to talk with, with some people, so already start taking those steps and discover along the way if that's what you really want. I'm only 7 months on hormones, so I still have a long way to go, but um, yeah, if, you, if you're thinking about it or you're struggling with it or you're unhappy, go talk and take steps towards it. You can still you can still say no at the end and you can there are also a lot of different there are a lot of different um, treatments and dosages um, um, you don't have to go all the way and get surgeries done um, you can find yourself in between somewhere maybe so yeah if you're in, in doubt go seek help it will be um, know that social this is more about how you think know that social media is fake even when I take pictures the pictures are and videos are taken with perfect lighting and perfect camera angles um, even this video I have like really good sunlight at the moment um, so don't be discouraged um, and 
yeah just know that social media is fake and everyone has some problems and everybody is struggling a little bit um, and on social media they only post good things especially influencers and stuff they only post the good things and the good sides but everyone has has problems you know so um yeah just 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 remind yourself that you're not alone and that the images on social media are uh, unrealistic and also know that i love you so my fifth and final tip is to invest in your own happiness really be selfish and put yourself first and your own happiness that is very important i know that doesn't sound very submissive like but i don't recommend to give money to Findom when you still want to buy a pretty dress for yourself or if you want to save up for hair removal just invest in your feminization the important thing is that you feel happy and um, so you should put yourself first of course when you have an owner you can still serve them but you don't have to spend all your money on them and be careful for findom and, and scammers out there i hope you enjoyed my new youtube video i'm gonna try to stay active on youtube because yeah you're following me and i'm getting lots of comments thank you so much thank you so much for watching and i hope it helped some of you maybe and i, I got so many youtube video ideas i cannot wait to share more um so yeah until next time bye